Hi, this is Sharon from Wind Station. Am I Crowley? How are you? Hey, how are you? I couldn't resist to speak to you. Really? <laughs> how has the response been so far with the new album? Amazing. We had a lot of positive reactions and we played the album already before we actually released the album. So people didn't know when they came to the show what they were going to get in Europe anyway and in Russia. That really turned out really well. And now we're here in America, hitting the stages here. Now what took you guys five years to make the follow-up to Hydra? We were a bit lost. We had a huge writer's block. Not just me, but everybody who was writing in the band. So we didn't know where we wanted to go, but we didn't know how to get there. That took a lot of time. And in the meantime, I also did a, a solo album called My Indigo. Everything takes time. That's why it's been five years, guys. Understandable. Writer's block is never easy to get out of. No, no, it's horrible. <laughs> And how would you compare Resist to your prior efforts? Resist is a bit more modern in a way because we had different influence which we have never used before. Like we were inspired a lot by urban music. And so you can even hear some hip hop kind of vibe going on there. More groovy than we ever were before. These things are new. It works for us. It's, it's something that we wanted to do, but we didn't know how to, but we, fin we got there. <laughs> not afraid of trying new things no we love that actually we try always to evolve a little bit within the limits you can of, a, of what you're doing of course and that's every time a challenge and the most biggest challenge is to say a sound uh, modern in a way like we want to sound 2019 we don't want to sound like something we did in 2004 for instance speaking of your older work how would you say you've evolved since enter a lot has changed since then because also how you record also the producers we worked with and also what we wanted to make with our music in the beginning it was very fairy tale kind of music not, not fairy tale but more you know we were very much in, in, inspired by uh, moves like interview with a vampire for instance it was a little bit like this dark vibe going on and more doom kind of music inspired by type of negative and paradise lost and so those bands really, well, really inspired us when we were starting to write music. And that changed with every album. We had different bands inspiring us or different kind of music inspiring us. So that you can hear with every album we had different influence. Like for once, for instance, Mother Earth was very much a more Celtic kind of inspired album. And that came because of the fact we saw a movie called Braveheart. Yeah, these things can go really, really strange. <laughs> So a movie goes with each album. With that said, which movie reminds you of Resist? Well, there wasn't any movie. Actually, it's more daily life, uh, crazy news coming from the world uh, but that we're living in now. It's more, that's what we're inspired by now. We are kind of living in a real life movie these days. Things are happening you never thought of it would, would be happening, that's true. <laughs> exactly. How do you think symphonic metal has changed over the years? Well, I don't think it has changed that much in general, uh, but although, you know, symphonic metal, some bands never change, they always do what they did before, and there are some bands who try new things every time. Within the genre, everybody does their own thing, I think, and you can't really compare it that much, uh, except for the fact that they all have a, a symphonic metal element to their music, but they all do their own thing, I think. Doing their own thing. Very cool. And how would you compare touring in the United States versus Europe? It's very different, actually. The venues are smaller for us here. We're not as big here as we are in Europe, of course. It's more difficult to, for a band sometimes going overseas to be noticed. But, you know, we're getting there. We're getting uh, more people every time that we're coming over. Somebody's spreading the love over there. But it's it's nice venues still. Two and a half thousand of capacity. Depends on what, what uh, town you're playing. Yeah, it's nice to be here. It's a different kind of way of touring. Different tour buses, for instance. Uh, different catering. Different vibe. This is really very much rock and roll. And how important is the U.S. market to you guys? It's great to be here because a lot of bands that we enjoy so much, they came from America as well. We have a lot of bands also coming from Europe, and but also bands from America. I'm a huge fan, always been a huge fan from Nirvana. That's my uh, <laughs> my teenage band growing up. Coming here, it brings back a lot of memories and things we saw of backstage footage and, and tour footage of bands that we like. Huge part of a dream coming true, of course, that so many people are coming to our shows and then enjoying our music. Yeah, that's cool for bands to come to that happening. After this tour, what plans do you guys have later on in the year? Well, we're going to tour a lot of uh, festivals, really a lot of festivals. <laughs> we're going to go everywhere from Russia to the whole of Europe and back again, at least 
20 or something, which is a lot if you do it only in this, during the summertime. That means that you're going to be gone every weekend, more or less. I'm loving it. What is your favorite song from the new album? Personal favorite is uh, Raise Your Banner, because everything I wanted to say actually with the album and the inspiration that we had for it. So that's my personal favorite together with Supernova. Check those out and I hope you like it. Awesome. It was awesome talking to you, and my Crowley. I hope to speak to you soon again. Thank you so much for having me. It was such a pleasure to speak to you. Stay cool. And that was Sharon from Within Temptation. Check out their album, Resist. It is different, but give it a chance. Until next time, I am M.I. Crowley, signing off.